Getting off the beaten path leads one along trails of discovery and memories. That's our favorite pastime, whether it be visiting local festivals dedicated to such things as uniquely wood crafts and crafters, like the one held at the Skyline Event Center, or celebrating the Michigan potato at towns like Munger or Posen. If it's Michigan, it's worth celebrating. We even celebrate things like bologna and fish sandwiches. There's plenty of inspiration and fun to go around for the whole family. This year, Michigan Magazine got into the act again of celebration, co-sponsoring, and getting into the spirit of the Old West at a brand new Michigan attraction, Coopersville Old West Town in Oscoda County. You'll find the story of this Old West Town on our YouTube channels, Spirit of Michigan and Forbidden Michigan. Michigan Magazine and our cowboy lookalikes prior to our Coopersville Old West finale made stops throughout northern Michigan in Clare for their western days and to Parkview Acres of Lupton and we topped off one day with a marvelous meeting of fans and cowboy lookalikes at Lovewell's convenience store on Sage Lake Road near Lupton in Ogemaw County. Watch for our story on Cowboy Days coming up on Michigan Magazine. Whenever we are on the road, we experience amazement and wonderment at the side discoveries, meaning we find something we weren't expecting, like our day at the Uniquely Wood Show at the Skyline Event Center. It was a new taste sensation made in Michigan. Jams and jellies made from hot peppers. Believe it or not, it was a winning combination. Sweet with a gentle slap in the face. Okay. Hot pepper. One These of the hottest peppers, like those Jelly little... pepper? Yes, but they're fruit jellies, not your regular pepper jellies. Fruit jellies. So it's Michigan fruits, okay. except for the pineapple. All and right. so I just kind of look like support the local producers. Okay. But all of them have habaneros in them, which makes them have a little heat. No kidding. A little after kick. What kind of a taste does it have? It has the berry, hot. actually actually the berry taste, according to what flavor you pick, and then there's a little kick to it. Right. So people are using it for barbecuing, marinating, salad dressings, dipping sauces, you name it. It's okay. not your typical jelly. Right. It's a, something you can have fun with and have just take your taste buds to a whole new level. What do you think? Delicious. Delicious. And now it's going to get kind of warm. Yeah, it'll get a little warm. But then it'll go away after a couple minutes. Awesome. Well, are you from what, what, what part right of here. Right here. Fairview. Fairview. No kidding. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yes. All right, so where so, do you get your peppers? Do you grow them locally? I don't yet. Uh, we did plant a whole bunch of peppers this summer, uh, local here, so we're hoping that they'll produce a lot for me. And Habaneros has got North and Alpina, who's actually got them growing in a greenhouse for me. Really? So this full time this spring, really? I decided my kids were cheering me on when I had five kids. Oh my goodness, and, and uh, this cookbook goes along with this? Actually, the cookbook is by a lady from our church. Okay. Her daughter is taking four years music major, All right. and she's into her fourth year this year. And so she decided to entrepreneur and raise money for her daughter to get through college without having debts oh, okay. when they get out. So That's great. I told her, I said, I'd love to sell them for you all. I well, move my jellies, right. they go together well. With all the traveling, visiting, and tasting going on each week in our travels, we still have time to invite guests into our studios, more specifically, Uncle Cliff's Kitchen at the Maytag store in Saginaw. We've just wrapped up filming of the new series and are busy in post-production to bring you some wonderful recipes and taste sensations. Stay tuned for that. It's an amazing array of cooks and guests heading down the pike. There's another example of interviews spawning interviews. From guest Kevin of Artigiano Cheese Shop, downtown Bay City, we traveled to his location in Saginaw during an open house where we discovered Michigan-made products needing to be spotlighted. Kevin fills us in on some of those guests that he was featuring that day at his monthly open house. So all throughout summer, we're going to be doing um, quite a few open house style demo and tastings. Uh, each one of them is going to feature a Michigan creamery and a Michigan winery or brewery, depending on the cheese. Um, so today we have Terrell Farms with us. Uh, they're Sheep's Milk Dairy in uh, Charlotte, Michigan. Okay. Uh, and they're here talking about their family farm and sampling some of their cheeses. Uh, we also have Cadillac Winery from up in Leroy, Michigan. Uh, they're demoing some of their wines today. And we, of course, have both of those for purchase. Um, we are also going to be demoing uh, some ba uh, backwoods mustard. Uh, um, we have Glee Gourmet, which is uh, a 
uh, uh, out of Grand Rapids. They make uh, maple syrups, soy sauce, uh, hot sauces, all excellent stuff. Uh, they're great. We're demoing some of their products as well today so people can get an idea what they're getting out of those. Um, you, of course, can always uh, try some of our other cheeses that we do have in stock and uh, our balsamic vinegars and olive oils um, and uh, Taza chocolates we're sampling today too, so all sorts of stuff to come out and try.